Okay, let's reduce background noise on a live stream in real time. So what am I talking about? I have the Isotope Voice Denoise plugin, and it is running right now, but I don't have it active. And I'll show you how I have the vocal chain set up and how we're gonna do that. But I have a heater next to me, and so you may be live streaming or you may be recording something and you it might be very cold or very hot and so you have HVAC running. So let's turn that on and you should be able to hear this. Oh, you probably do need headphones to hear the real difference between having the heater on and having it off. Okay, let me share my screen here. This is what you're seeing in a second is audio hijack. And I have to show my entire screen in order for you to see that, in order for you to see the plugin working. So you're gonna see this double view of my browser and you're gonna see the actual plugin running. So you can see it's running, but it is off. So I say running, it's in the vocal chain here. So I have Rodecaster. I just have some meters here for me to see. Here's the RX, and in my case, it's the sixth version. I don't even know what they're on anymore. It's on sale. It's one of the reasons I'm doing this. It's on sale right now. If it's something you're interested in, if you need voice denoising for your post-production or for live, like we're doing. But most people have no idea that you can run this as a plugin in your vocal chain live and have it reduce noise. So right now you're just hearing my studio and when I'm in quiet, when I'm quiet, latency's really getting to me. It's pretty quiet in here, although it's like 60 mile an hour winds tonight. So you might hear sticks and leaves and everything blowing up against my door. But this is the normal sound of my studio, no noise reduction. And I'm going to actually turn this on We'll turn it on now. You can see that it's not dark. You can see that it's running. And when I'm quiet, you can see the noise floor. The highest part of that noise floor, if you look at that white line that's bouncing around, that's around 60 dB. That's basically the storm outside and just the ambience of my room. But turn on the heater, headphones. All right, so now maybe, and my voice could be covering it, you should be hearing the heater blowing into the microphone. Turn that off. You can see the white line goes up. So the noise floor, that white line is the noise floor, but I have no reduction on the plugin yet. So as you listen to the noise floor, I'm gonna bring up the plugin and the noise that you're hearing, the background hiss should go away in real time. So take a listen. And there you go, I didn't mute, that is real time. So the RX6 or the RX Voice denoise plugin is running, the heater's still on, and this plugin is just removing that background noise in real time. So I can just keep this running. The heater is on. I'm nice and warm. It's probably going to get too hot because it is right, right next to me. But you can see that the white line now has another white line and it's they're spread apart, right? So the more I reduce that, the more reduction I use, the more you'll see that bottom white line, right? separate from the top white line because the top is the noise floor. The bottom white line and the gray in the middle is how much we're, we're reducing it. So I'll bring it back down or I'll just turn it off. All right, now I'm talking with the heater on. It's like, what is that? Is that preamp noise? Is it a heater on? Is it a fan? Same thing. What is that noise in the background? Doesn't matter. Now it's gone. It does sound like I mute the microphone, but I'm talking and my voice is now above above the noise floor, but I think 
it's not like a noise gate. A noise gate, when I'm quiet, would just drop out the noise like this. But when I talk, that noise floor would be under my voice. I'm not really hearing the noise at all, even when I talk. And you say, oh, well, your voice is above it, so you don't hear it. That's not it. It is taking that noise profile and reducing it. So even when I'm talking, the noise is pretty much gone. So very cool. You can do that in real time. If you're interested, the link is in the description of this video. Isotope's having like a 60% off sale. And you can get in at the Elements Bundle, which I think is like 50 bucks right now. So every time, like once a year, I kind of wait for this sale when I was getting into the system, the Isotope system. And I would just wait until they had the big sale. So I waited the first time, got in on Elements. Then I waited another year um, for it to come back around. And I went up to the standard. And the standard probably doesn't have a lot more that I use than what's in Elements. So you can get the voice C noise in the Elements pack, a lot more affordable. So check out the link. You may use something else. I actually use... Uh, what else do I use? I use Accusonis, but they're a subscription service now. So I don't like that as much, but it's really good. And I have one more, one more uh, demo of something new I'm trying that works incredible. But I'm going to save that for a demo for an upcoming video. So subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I'm making more videos on this channel again. So uh, we also have a new microphone coming pretty soon. So we'll check out all that stuff, but we're removing background noise live. Hope that's interesting. I, even if it's not something that you want to buy, um, most people, a lot of people have this plugin and they didn't even realize that it could do that. So that's very cool. And there's a couple different use cases for it. I use this in post-production all the time. Uh, probably on every production, I do a lot of uh, podcast production and video production, and most of it is dialogue. And so almost any place you record in is going to have some kind of noise floor, especially since you're rarely ever recording in million dollar studios. And so that's when I'm, as a final pass, going to just remove out a little bit of that noise floor. And I would say that noise floor is probably the best way I use this, right? If you have traffic or you have very specific frequencies, I don't know that it's as good. You can reduce that, but it's like, hey, I want to take out that cat meowing in the background. That's different, right? That's more of like a surgical removal of a specific sound. This is more about like making you sound like you're in a really expensive studio where no noise is getting on, getting in, soundproofing, right? So most studios, we talk about uh, reverb reduction, and that is very different than soundproofing. Soundproofing is usually like a room inside of a room. That's not happening that much uh, outside of million dollar studios. So most of us record at home, we're live streaming from home, we're going to have some type of background noise and this can do it. I have some poker, like a noise floor. So it's always like careful what you say, because people say, oh, remove the background noise. It'll get rid of like sirens or something, or that's what people think. And it, that's not necessarily, that's definitely not how I use it. So I use it like this. The heater is on, the HVAC is on, uh, whatever you have is sort of a constant broadband, like across the frequency spectrum, hiss. Hiss is the big one. You might have cheaper audio gear, or maybe you're using like an SM7B, and you're going into an audio interface where when you crank the gain up for the SM7B, you have some of that hiss, right? So this can reduce hiss uh, of that kind. Obviously, I'd rather at that point if I wouldn't, I don't know that I'd buy the plugin for that. I would probably buy something like a preamp that would just take that out from the beginning. The key is to record it as well as possible. And then you get a lot better results from your noise removal, right? 
and less you have to less of that noise removal you have to do. That is absolutely the key. Record it really well. All right. Well, if you have any other questions, that's the video. Check out the link in the description. If you're interested in the sale, I wouldn't get it without the sale. Definitely buy the sale. I think it's probably like all of this month, I hope. But um, if it was me and the sale wasn't on, I would just wait because I will say this happens. The sale happens every year. So reliably since I've had it and I've probably had it for, you know, over five years easily. So check that out. Let me see if